Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ShredOS Disk Eraser to completely wipe out the data on your hard drive securely. ShredOS is a USB bootable, small Linux distribution, and therefore to use it, we will need a blank USB flash drive and a utility program like Rufus to create a bootable media. So once you have a USB flash drive ready, download the appropriate ShredOS image file and Rufus. Once the downloads are complete, plug in your USB flash drive and wait until it's detected by Windows and then launch Rufus. On the Rufus Options dialog, under Device, first make sure that your USB flash drive is selected. Then if your PC runs on legacy BIOS, make sure that the selected partition scheme is MBR. But if your PC runs on UFI, you should use GPT partition scheme. And if the default partition scheme is MBR and the option is grayed out, like in my case here, first show the advanced drive properties, and then under boot selection, select UFI and TFS. Now you should be able to select GPT partition scheme. Then click select and look for the shred OS image file you downloaded earlier. After that, simply click start to begin the shred OS bootable USB flash drive. Once done, close Rufus and all other programs. Then restart your PC and boot into shred OS. To show the boot options during boot up, as soon as the manufacturer's logo appears, press the boot menu key on the keyboard. It could be F8, F9, F10, or the escape key, depending on your PC's brand. Once you get to the boot menu, select your Shred OS bootable USB flash drive, and then press enter. All right, so this is the Shred OS disk eraser interface. If you feel that the font size is too small, press F on the keyboard to enlarge it. Now, as you can see here, the main section shows the disk and partition list, while the upper left section shows the selected wipe options. The menu is located at the bottom, where each menu item can be selected using a keyboard key or a keys combination. Should any time while you're still on the screen you wish to quit Shred OS, press Ctrl C on the keyboard and then follow the instruction. So now, first select the disk or partition you wish to erase by pressing the up or the down arrow key. Then press the space bar to confirm your selection. You may select more than one disk or partition to be wiped in a single operation. Then press M on the keyboard to show the available wipe methods and use the up or the down arrow key to select your preferred method. The detailed information of the method you select is shown to the right of the list. For this tutorial, I'm going to select PRNG stream. Then press the space bar on the keyboard to confirm your selection. Now press V on the keyboard to show the verification mode options. You may select last pass or all pass or turn it off altogether. Then press the space bar to confirm your selection. Now if you want to increase the number of rounds Shred OS should wipe your drive, press R. Type in the desired number and then press Enter. Please take note that larger number of rounds will cause the process to take longer time. All right, that's probably all the settings you need to configure. Once you're ready, press Shift S on the keyboard to start wiping the data on your drive. This process may take hours to complete depending on your drive's capacity. For example, for my case here, wiping a 200 gigabytes hard disk is estimated to take about eight hours, so please be patient. Once done, press enter on the keyboard to create the wipe report of type PDF and exit the Shred OS. As you can see here, Shred OS successfully created the PDF report and save it on the Shred OS bootable flash drive. Now to return to Windows to view the report, simply press R on the keyboard to restart your PC. All right, now open File Explorer and you will find that the drive you just erased is not shown here on the drive list. Now before we do something about it, open the Shred OS bootable USB flash drive and then open the disk erasure report. As you can see here, if the wipe operation was completed successfully without any error, you'll have a green check mark on the erasure status. You may scroll down the report to find out more details on the wipe operation on your drive. All right, now close this report and then open Windows Disk Management Utility. Simply click OK when it asks you to initialize the disk you just erased. You may then create a new volume on the disk to make it accessible from File Explorer again. All right. So that's how you can wipe out the data on your hard drive securely using Shred OS. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.